Hello and welcome to the Radcliffe School's option evening for Year 9 students and their parents and carers. My name is John Craig and I'm the head teacher of the school. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this event. Under normal circumstances, we would invite you all to come into school to meet with staff face to face and discuss the choices that are available to students in Key Stage 4, that is, in years 10 and 11. Obviously, due to the current restrictions, this is not possible. However, we do feel that the online resources that we have created will provide you with all the information you need in order to support your child to make the right choice of subjects for them. My colleague and Deputy Head Teacher, Mr Halls, will present the details of the range of subjects on offer to your child. He will also explain how you can speak via an online link to the heads of subjects so you can ask any questions that you might have regarding the offers available to your child. As always, if you still have any additional questions following this event, please don't hesitate to contact the school in the usual manner. I hope you enjoy the evening. Good evening and welcome to our very first ever remote Year 9 Options Evening. I'm Matt Halls, I'm Deputy Head Teacher and I'm responsible for overseeing the options process. We would have very much have liked to invite you, I invited you into school to speak to you face to face. However, given current restrictions, we, are, we have obviously needed to do the entire process online. We've tried to make the whole process replicate what would have happened had things been done under normal circumstances. We very much hope that the fact it's not been done face to face doesn't detract too much and that you feel you've had all the information you need to make an informed choice for your son or daughter. This is an exciting point because it's the first time in your child's education that they have the opportunity to make some choices about the subjects that they study. It's important that they take this very seriously, as once they have made these choices, then this is what they will study in year 10. It is very difficult for us as a school to make any changes after this point. Now, there are some subjects that are so important that they are compulsory and make up the core curriculum. These are English language, English literature, both GCSEs, maths GCSE, science GCSE, which is worth two GCSEs, PE and skills for life. PE and skills for life are non-examined subjects. Students have been placed on one of four options routes. In years gone by, option routes placed students on very different pathways. However, things are constantly changing in the light of the latest educational thinking and the difference between the routes have changed too. The differences between the routes are now very small and there are slight differences in the subjects that are on offer depending on which route you are on. In fact, when it comes to the option subjects, students from different routes are mixed up. Students will frequently be in classes with students from other routes. Torch A and B are almost identical. Flame has slightly more choices. There are some important differences for supported study and enhanced learning, sorry, enhanced support group. There are two types of qualifications that are on offer. Firstly, there are GCSEs. These are well-known and understood qualifications and are mainly assessed through terminal exams. Vocational qualifications have a range of titles depending on their awarding bodies. In the past, some people have come to believe that these are not as rigorous as GCSEs. However, in recent years, a number of, the number of qualifications have been reduced and uh, the only qualifications that we offer have been certified as contributing to match uh, have been certified, sorry, um, as contributing to the school performance tables. This means they're considered to match GCSEs in terms of rigour and challenge. They tend to be more practical and relate to a particular type of job or sector and generally have a higher coursework element, although they all have a significant element that is assessed at the end of the course. The vocational qualifications we offer are appropriate for all students, whatever their ability. Given that students get to choose four options, every student has room in their offer for a vocational qualification. It is also important for me at this point to introduce the English Baccalaureate, often shortened to the BAC. 
The English Baccalaureate is not a standalone qualification, but it's made up of the following five GCSEs. English language, English literature, maths, a modern foreign language, in our case French, and a humanities subject, either geography or history. The English Baccalaureate is not compulsory, but the government has an ambition that the majority of students will study the EBAC. The range of subjects in the EBAC uh, provide a good basis for further study. We strongly recommend that students who are on pathway seven, eight or nine take the full English Baccalaureate. Now, let's take a more detailed look at the slight differences uh, between the options routes. As I previously said, Torch A and B are almost identical. On Torch A and B, you must choose four options. You must choose at least one of French, computer science, geography or history. You are strongly encouraged to choose to do the full English baccalaureate suite of subjects, English, maths, science, French and geography or history. You cannot choose both product design and engineering. Uh, in addition to that, with those two subjects, you cannot choose product design uh, textiles. The only difference is that on Torch A, you are limited to two vocational courses. On Torch B, this can be up to three. On Flame, as with Torch A and Torch B, you must pick four options. You are strongly encouraged, although it's not compulsory, to choose French, computer science, geography or history. You cannot choose to do more than three vocational qualifications. You cannot choose to do product design, engineering and a product designs textiles together. In supported study, students have an English lesson every day in order to support their literacy development. They have a choice of two options and the remainder of their time is spent doing a range of qualifications and projects that support their progression further on in their educational career. Enhanced support group um, have a more personalized curriculum. They're actually on either Torch A, Torch B or Flame. However, they do one less option and spend this time in a small supported group doing activities that help them to improve their attitude to learning and develop their emotional resilience to improve their performance and engagement with the subjects that they do study. Some students in this group will have their options reduced to two to allow an even more uh, enhanced level of support. These are the subjects in option A and option B. They are the same for Torch A, Torch B and Flame. Enhanced support group get to choose option, um, from option B, but not A, as do supported study. These are the subjects on offer are in option C and option D. Supported study get to choose from option D, but not C. Triple science is only available to students on Torch A. I will say more about this in a moment. To find out more about each of these subjects and what is involved, go to the website. Click on the button that is at the bottom right hand side of the screen and this will take you to the options pages. Here you can find out all the information that you need about the other, all the subjects on offer. There are also short videos from each of the heads of subject which tell you about what you will study as part of the course. Now, a little more detail about three option subjects. First of all, triple science. Places on this course are very limited. It is only the most able students in the subject that will get places if it is oversubscribed. Students selecting triple science study the three separate sciences, physics, chemistry and biology. You should only be considering this if you are certain you wish to go on to do science at degree level and go into a science related career. The standard com combined uh, science course is, far is a far better option for most students because it keeps your options broad and open. Many students go on to study science at A-level at Oldham Sixth Form College through this route uh, and very successfully. It is not a barrier to further study. I would strongly encourage you to think carefully before choosing this option. Beta Health and Social Care. 
and NCFE engineering will be selective. This is the first year that these courses have run and we think they will be popular, um, but we are starting small. If the numbers exceed 25, students will be interviewed and selected on their appropriateness from the course. This will not be on the basis of ability, but will be on the basis of appropriateness. So what should you consider when you're making your options choices? First of all, you should consider your ability in the subject. If it's a subject you do, do well at, then it's likely to be something that you should opt for. Secondly, are you interested in the option subject? Is it something that motivates you and interests you? It's another good reason for choosing that subject. And last of all, what are your thoughts on your future careers? Does it match the sort of things that you think you'll find yourself doing when you leave school? Some things that you should not think about when considering options choices. First of all, choose your options on the basis of what your friends choose. That is not a good choice. Quite often your friends will not be in the same group as you when you get to key stage four. So it's an unwise way to make a decision. Second of all, uh, choose because you like the teacher that you have this year. It's very likely that the teacher you have this year won't be teaching you next year. So make sure you choose on the right things, your ability in the subject and your interest in it. Now, sometimes subjects are oversubscribed. If subjects are oversubscribed, then we will look at the student's attendance uh, record and their events logs. And the places will go to the students with the better attendance and the higher number of positive logs. Additionally, if a subject um, has fewer than 13 students opting for it, it's very likely that it will not run and you will need to choose another subject. OK, so what happens next? Last week, you received a letter. In it, there was the all important login details for the system that we use for you to be able to select your options. It also tells you what route you are on. The online system will open on Wednesday tomorrow. The deadline for submitting your options online is Monday the 19th of April. This is the first Monday back after the, half to, after the Easter holiday. Um, if you don't, if you don't enter your um, options by this time, you will be put into options um, that are spare. We won't be able to take late entries. When you go to the link in the letter, it will take you to a web page. You enter the login details and sign in. It's absolutely vital that you do this with your child. Do not let them do it on their own. Once the selection has been made, it cannot be changed. You'll be prompted to select one subject from each block and two reserved subjects. Following this meeting, we have arranged for subject leaders and the careers advisors to be available on MS Teams for you to talk to. Please bear with us. It's the first time we have done something like this. We hope it works. If it doesn't, there is always the option of sending an email via the link and someone will get back to you. Go to the website, click on the key stage four options quick link and it will take you there. When you click on the link, you'll be taken to a meeting. Uh, you may have to wait if it's busy, but you'll be let into the meeting once there is space. This might be uh, with other parents and students at the same time. Here you can speak to the head of subject. If it is too busy or it doesn't work out, use the email link beside it and someone will contact you in the next few days. Can I thank you for listening intensively? Uh, it's a very exciting time. We have never done the options process online before, so I'm very glad to be doing it with such an excellent year group. And I know they will approach it with the seriousness and maturity that is needed. Any questions, do ask your subject teachers. If you need to, you're welcome to speak to me or Miss Simerson, both of us available after this meeting by the link on the websites. Thank you, best wishes, and enjoy the rest of your evening.